So how excited are you guys tonight about this, this award, uh, this nomination? Uh, surreal. I think it's very surreal, this whole situation. Unbelievable. Well, I, I was here like 30 years ago when it was a club, so it's kind of deja vu, and it's, it's fun to be part of this. It's exciting. What are you guys working on right now? Uh, right now, I personally am working on a bunch of different things. Um, from I just started my own record label called Remarkable Records. We're going to be putting out some old motel stuff as well as a bunch of other projects I've done. I'm writing a, a uh, pilot with a friend for a TV show, which is kind of fun. Uh, Can you tell us any, any hint of what it's about? Yeah, uh, well, the fact is it's very strange. It's very surreal and it involves time tra I don't know. I can't. No, I can't divulge. But not going to divulge right now. Anybody's interested in a very strange <laughs> project call me. Uh, Range can be good. Yeah. No, what with the television these days, it's absolutely fabulous what's going on out there. So and we have a brand new album that came out this year called The Last Few Beautiful Days, which is why we're here, because we got nominated. Awesome, awesome. And what advice would you give for, you know, a lot of these, a lot of the nominees are, you know, new in the business. What kind of advice would you give as the sage? <laughs> it's, it's, it's what kind of advice question? <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to say don't quit your day job because I hate it when people say that. <laughs> you better enjoy the journey and you better enjoy what you're doing regardless. That's the truth. Yeah. It ain't easy, but it's the best ride you'll ever have. <laughs> What's something that you learned early on in your career um, that made you a better artist? Um, to, to get out of my own way and to trust my inner voice as opposed to my my quest for fame or anything else, you know? It's about the songs and the music. What about you? Well, I learned with music that the wider your source is, the better your output. So I always ignored genre, genres and just listened to all kinds of music because it always combines in a way that nobody else has done, you know, in one way or another. And so the more you gather from, the more interesting what you come up with might be. If you could change one thing about the music industry, and we only have a few seconds. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time on that one. That's a whole other subject, but what would you change? Oh, you're both going to take it. It's really a way to increase its value, um, it's, but it's hard because it's already done, so that cow has left the barn. I, I, I think everybody's responsibility is just to continue to be as creative and, and, and literally turn your back on what looks like the golden goose egg and do what is creatively as inspiring and as different and as challenging as you possibly can. Try to break away. We were lucky enough to be in the 80s, and in the 80s, the thing that was so fantastic about it was there were no two bands that were that sounded the same. Oingo Boingo didn't sound like Debbie Harry, didn't sound like, you know, Patti Smythe didn't sound, everybody was different. Talking Heads, it was, and everybody wanted to be different. Now I feel like everybody trying to grab the same brass ring, you know. Find your own voice, lock yourself in a room without any other music, and listen to your heart.